All right, this game right here is the same game from my last video, Bad Chess 22. I'm still not quite ready to move on from this game, mostly due to uh, the comments that were left on it. So this game right here, I was outplayed for 45 moves, and then on the 46th move, my opponent made a blunder, and I won. But you, I was outplayed 45 out of 46 moves. So, I, yeah, I, I got the checkmate and I won, but being that my opponent was winning the whole game, what the last video was about was I was expecting my accuracy to be lower than my opponent's. And not only wasn't lower, it was a lot higher, 85% to 59%. So I didn't really understand how only outplaying my opponent for one move, how I had a higher accuracy rating and then uh thanks for the uh the comments there was a number of comments left explaining why this happened it's it seemed like everybody had a different take on it and they all seemed to make sense but most everybody was saying something slightly different so thank you to everybody who uh tried to explain this to me and i appreciate your comments but uh one thing uh vincenzo said over at the youtube channel Darian Dane. He said, why don't you try an evaluation right to this point before the blunder? And I thought, yeah, that would be interesting to see how much that affected these numbers right here. And I think it really would have been interesting. Unfortunately, I couldn't figure out how to do it. I don't know if it, if you, it's not possible to do it. Uh, if it, if somebody out there knows how to do this, please, please let me know. I couldn't figure it out. But um, what that did make me think, well, I, I can't do a an evaluation up to just this point, but I, I can do an evaluation of the whole game over at chess.com and see if they agree with Lee Chess's evaluation. So that's what this video is about. So we'll look at the evaluation over chess.com, but just before we leave, 59% for my opponent, 85% for me, and then the other thing I was looking at, we each had one blunder. So let's go see what chess.com has to say about this. And so they still agree that I outplayed my opponent, but Leach has said I outplayed him by 26% and just over 1% here. And then also uh, on the blunders for my opponent, one, just like Leach has said, but chess.com doesn't think I made any blunders at all, which I'm kind of surprised by because I felt like I played really bad that game. And... uh yeah, I mean, if I would have seen a number here that said like four or five or six, I would not be surprised at all. So anyway, it, it looks like chess.com does think I played better, but not as uh, much as, as Lee Chess did. And then the other thing before I, I leave this uh, analysis here is I want to scroll down and look at the uh, ratings that chess.com uh, thinks we played at. I don't know if you've seen that. I don't know how new it is, but it's new to me. It's something I just discovered on uh, chess.com recently, where if you scroll down on, on the screen, I mean, I've always gone to the screen after my games for, for a long time, but only recently did I scroll down and realize that down at the bottom it shows an evaluation of what rating level chess.com thinks you and your opponent played the game at. So I was really curious to see that, especially since Lee Chess doesn't do that. So... Even though it's saying one blunder for my opponent and zero for me, I really feel like we both played pretty bad. And when I scroll down to the ratings, I'm expecting to see 600, 700, 800 for both of us, somewhere in that range. And I was really shocked when I scrolled down and saw 1250. I, I don't know. I I thought we, we both uh, played pretty bad. But anyway... I guess chess.com kind of agrees with Lee Chess because, you know, even though I, I said I got outplayed at 45 to 1 in moves, it looks like th they're rating me at least as high as my opponent. So then after s seeing this difference between Lee Chess and chess.com, that led me to think, like, well, why are they giving different accuracy ratings um, and yeah if anybody has any thoughts on that or ideas on that please leave a comment letting me know but I just figured 
I would check out and see what ChatGPT says. I think ChatGPT is kind of new, but it's certainly new to me. I'm a new user. I'm not that familiar with it. I don't know how much I trust it or how much I believe in it, but I figured, well, I'll see what it says uh, about LeeChessandChess.com. Why uh, do I get different numbers on the analysis? And so I asked it here, how do, how do they analyze games? And I didn't know this. I don't know. Maybe this is something that everybody knows, but I did not know this. Lee Chess uses the Stockfish chess engine for game analysis. On the other hand, chess.com has its own engine called Komodo. I didn't know this. They're using different engines, so that kind of explains why we would get different uh, percent numbers in the analysis. I'm still kind of surprised to see such a big difference because I would think in 2023 that these engines would are, are so good that they would be similar. I'm, I'm surprised that top engines can have such a, a difference in opinion in 2023. I mean, they were beating Gary Kasparov back in the 90s, so I kind of figured by now they would uh, agree. But, um... They 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 still even though they're super high rated they seem to have a very different opinion on the same game eighty fifty nine percent and eighty five percent and seventy one percent and seventy two percent well all right now I'm ready to move on with this this game I'm done with this uh, see you next time. <laughs>